In this lesson, we are going to cover the Feature Manager Design Tree, which is located on the left-hand side of the SolidWorks screen. The Feature Manager Design Tree provides an outline view of the active part, and this makes it easy to see how the model was constructed. The Feature Manager Design Tree and the Graphics area are dynamically linked. You can select features, sketches, and construction geometry in either the Feature Manager Design Tree or the Graphics area. Let's give it a try. For example, I can select Cut Extrude 1 from the Feature Manager Design Tree and the dimensions for that feature display on the screen. I can double click on a dimension and make changes to that value. Or I could have simply clicked on the feature in the Graphics area and the same dimensions appear. The Feature Manager Design Tree also makes it easy to select items in the model by name. So I can go to Cut Extrude 3, select that item from the Feature Manager Design Tree, and it's highlighted on the screen. Now granted, this name is not very descriptive, but I can change it to something more descriptive. I can do that by either slowly double-clicking on the name and then entering a new name, or my preference is to click on the name one time and select F2. Once you select F2, the name is highlighted, and then you can add a more descriptive name. In the Feature Manager Design Tree, you can also filter items by going up to the Filter window, typing in a word, for example, boss, and it will filter all of the bosses in the tree. I'll go ahead and X out of that. In the Feature Manager Design Tree, you can also suppress and unsuppress features. So let's say, for example, we want to suppress this slotted feature. That looks like that is Cut Extrude 2. I right mouse click on Cut Extrude 2 and select Suppress. Notice in the Feature Manager Design Tree, it's grayed out. And notice in the graphics area, it's no longer displayed in the model. If I decide at a later time, I want to place that slotted feature back in the model. I simply go back to the Feature Manager Design Tree, right mouse click, and unsuppress the feature. I can also change the order of the features in the Feature Manager Design Tree by simply holding down the left mouse button and moving it up the tree or down the tree. And notice I receive a yellow arrow. And in this example, I can move Cut Extrude 7 above Cut Extrude 6. However, if I try to move it further, I will receive a black circle with a slash through it. And this is because of the parent-child relationships that we will discuss in the next lesson. In the Feature Manager Design Tree, we have this horizontal bar at the very bottom of the tree. This is called the rollback bar, and when you position the cursor above it, you will receive a hand icon. When you see that hand, hold down the left mouse button and you can drag that rollback bar up the Feature Manager tree or down the Feature Manager tree. And this is real handy for seeing how the model was created. This also allows you to add a new feature after the rollback bar. So if I add a new feature now, it will be inserted into this location in the Feature Manager tree.